Shading in Blender is pretty straightforward and easy, uh, but there are certain things that could be made even easier. So that's why I created this add-on that will help make your life easy. So this add-on I'm giving it out for free, the link will be in the description in case you're interested in downloading it. But what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how to set it up and um, some basic things you need to know about it. So once you've downloaded it and you've matched with this page, the instance image backup, uh, you just go ahead and download it and it should bring you to a page that looks like this. So this is a Python script um, that will run the add-on. So you just go ahead and save it. Uh, if you have it, uh, this is what you get. Uh, text, uh, name.text. You just want to change this to py uh, for Python. And then select all files and you just go ahead and save it. So here in Blender, we can go ahead and enable it. So like an add-on, I save it to my desktop. So you just select it and you enable it. So we'll save the preference and you'll find it located here in the instant image baker um, panel. So it's very, the UI is pretty simple and straightforward. It's kind of just an ease of life tool, which I use. Uh, so what you have here, a bunch of passes, which are based off the geometry data. And uh, you can also find that here in the bake. So this allows you to quickly bake your uh, bake informations. Uh, unlike the default way you have to do a lot of setup, but this kind of takes that all away for you. So you could select other stands here, but you can also select it here. Uh, so to use it, you want to make sure you're in um, Cycles Render, uh, because currently Cycles is the only one that supports baking. Um, so once you have that set, um, you're all good. You have, then you select your mesh and then you can bake and stuff like that. Um, also, you want to make sure the use active is to select it is always turned off. So that's why I have this here. Uh, because this only has to do when you're trying to bake one object's information to another object. And in most cases, when you're using this add-on, you don't need it. Okay, so let's uh, create a simple test. Uh, I'm going to add uh, a Voronoi texture. Uh, we're going to render view. So this is what we see. And if we do some manipulation, we'll just add a color ramp to create something custom. And we'll also add a mist color. That's just great, like a simple um, setup. Okay. Um, if you're happy with this and you want to kind of collapse all the node and bake it out to an image, uh, this is where this add-on shines. Uh, before we do that, I'm just going to pack the island so that we can bake it appropriately. And next step, what you just do is have your object selected and just click on bake. Uh, it tells you to select the resolution of the image, which, uh, you want to bake. So depending on what you're going for, if you're going for a very optimizing, you could go with lower. If you're going with something high, then you could go higher and uh, you just click bake. So it's going to create the image texture for you. It's going to, um, look at the bake type, which you selected. And then it's just going to pick out that information. So it's a pretty simple tool. Um, it saves you a lot of seconds, um, minutes of clicking and even understanding certain things. Um, so that's um, the usefulness of it. And once you've baked it, you can go ahead and delete this node. And we have <clears throat> it here. So this is the stretching from the UV. I uh, was fine. Um, so that's basically it. Um, you also have this nice node uh, because currently the Blender doesn't have like a specific uh, specified node for blurring uh, object, which I tend to use <coughs> a lot. Um, so I created this nice uh, node setup that you can click and it will set it up for you. Um, so you just, you can blur things easily and yeah, you have it. So it's a very simple tool. It's out for free. You can just go to the link and download it and um, play with it. So importantly, you set to cycles and have your object selected. That's the only rule for it. Uh, a, a cool secret, this, this tool was actually uh, created with AI. So I used the chat GTP and kind of coded the add-on. So if you want to kind of see how I created it or how you can create add-ons using uh, chat GTP, GPT, you can let me know in the comment. It, it will not create something very robust or advanced. It has some limitations, 
Uh, but there are some workarounds which I kind of use to combine a lot of different uh, functions into one add-on. Uh, so if you're interested, you let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I hope this was informative and please check it out. It's uh, out for you guys to play with. Okay, so bye-bye for now.